The M2 move on square one is a short trigger that simulates a similar pattern to an M2 on 3x3. The move alone can be used to solve the double line edge orientation case and can also come in handy in solving a few edge permutation algorithms. It's so useful because it's easy to memorize and fast to execute. The H-perm is a great arc to start on because it's virtually identical to the main H-perm you should know from 3x3. It goes M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. You can also do the U's the opposite direction if you feel more comfortable with by doing that. When the H-perm is on the bottom, you just do the same thing, M2, D, M2, D2, M2, T, M2. The Z perm is also very simple. You look at where the front color needs to go, in this case it's blue, the blue side is on the left. So in that case, my U move will have to go to the right, the opposite direction. So I'll do M2, U prime, M2, U, M2 and that solves it. On the bottom it's the same thing. You look at where the blue needs to go, in this case it's still left, so your D move will be the opposite direction. So M2, D, M2, D prime, M2. The next case is O opposite. You check what color the front edge is, in this case it's green and the green needs to go to this side. So your first U move will be in the opposite direction. So you do M2, U, M2, U, M2, and then AOF. Yeah, same thing for the clockwise one, check where the blue's going, it's going to the left, so then your U move will be going U prime. So M2, U prime, M2, U prime, M2, AOF. If the old perm is on the bottom, check what color the edge is. It's green, green goes here. So your D move will be going the opposite direction. So M2, D prime, M2, D prime, M2, and ADF. Opposite, opposite is also very easy. It's just an M2, U2, M2. The slice optimal version of this ARG doesn't equate a flip, and that's just 1 slash 5 negative 1 slash negative 5 1 slash. It's useful to know the same algorithm from different angles. For when it's on the side, you just do a slice, U D prime, M2, U prime D, slice. Both those algorithms can come in handy when solving H, H. Firstly, you do the vertical op, op, and then you cancel into doing the side op, op. The next case is Z, H. You look at the front edge color. In this case, it's green. The green side is to the right. And in this case, you do the U move to the the side that this edge needs to go to. So it's going to be a U prime in this case. So be M2, U prime, M2, U, leave one layer misaligned, and then go into the side op op, like this, and then solve it from there. The next case is same directional OO. You can tell it's the same direction because here it's going anti-clockwise on the other side it's also going anti-clockwise it looks like they're going opposite directions because the green is going to the right here and the blue is going to the left so you can recognize it how you want the algorithm for it is just you check where the green is going green is going to the right so your U move will be going to the left so you M2 U M2 U D prime M2, D, M2, and AUF. 
the same things for the opposite direction. The blue is going to the left, the U move will be going to the right, M2, U prime, M2, U prime, D, M2, D prime, M2. There's no uh, mirrors for this because it's symmetrical. The next case is opposite directional O, O. You can recognize this by this edge color going to uh, the same direction as what this edge color is going to. So they're both going to the left in this case. And then my D move, my first D move will be a D because that's the opposite direction of where this needs to go. So you do an M2, D, M2, U prime, D prime, M2, U prime, M2. AUF. When the old perms are going the opposite direction, to the right, the green's going to the right, so your first three moves is going to be opposite directions. It's going to be the left, which is going to be a D prime. So you do an M2, D prime, M2, U, D, M2, U, M2, AUF. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.